Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons, and DIY Balloon Art. Today I'm going to show you my favorite super giant jumbo sword. In fact, this balloon is so much my favorite that I am in shock that I haven't already shared this with you. So, um, what we need for this is a 260 fully inflated with a good burp and a 350 fully inflated with a burp. But before we start, we got to do the commercial. And that is that I am super excited about my brand new best selling book, The DIY Balloon Bible for All Seasons, which you can get on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. In this book, we have more than, tw I think, uh, more than 25 designs. 12 of them are seasonal ex designs that are exclusive to this book, one for every month and every holiday uh, that's in those months. So you can see we've got a Christmas tree, and here's something for uh, flowers for May, and ice cream for June, and pumpkin for Halloween, and there's a lot more in here. So uh, go on to Amazon, go on to Barnes Noble, go wherever books are found, and check this out. All right, awesome. Well, without further ado, let's get started teaching you this sword. All right, so this one is like super simple. I make this one all the time. So we're gonna take our 260, and what we're gonna do, I usually give it a little stretch, we do want it a little squishy, but it's only getting one twist. Um, but we are putting pressure on it by spiraling it. So you're going to take it and fold it in half. And then we're going to spiral the two sides around each other, just like that. Squeak, 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 squeak. And then, of course, squeeze it and twist it to lock it and put one end through the other. Now, on this side here, you're going to put your hand into that crevice right there, into that opening, and pull the 350 right through it, just like that, okay? I'm using green on a green screen. Well, what can you do? Okay, so now we're going to take this, and you're just going to twist off a little bubble, just like that, and you're going to bring this piece here right around and twist it together, just like so. You see? So that makes the handle, and there you go, your super giant jumbo sword, which the kids just love. You will be making these all day long. And you see that it's totally simple, very fast. I know that there's a whole bunch of different fancy schmancy kind of sword handles that have lots of little bubbles and stuff, and I hate them. They look great, but they fall apart the minute the kids put their hands in them. Whereas this one is really good. I will warn you, if you're doing it outside, you will be replacing these a lot because, um, <laughs> you know, since they're so big, they do have a tendency to get into the grass and pop. Uh, but a solution to that is just come with a bag of pre-inflated balloons since these do use fully inflated balloons. And there you go.